Hey, Ashley. Oh, hey, hey. Mind if I come in and take a little break? I've been, oh, man, I've been working. What, what do you, what do you got to do? I'm trying to get this picture centered on the bulletin for this weekend. Oh, well, here, here, well, wait a minute. Let me show you a shortcut. Let me show you a shortcut. Watch this. Watch this. If, if you'll, when you get it into that particular position, if you will, um, let's see, I think if you try this, you'll, it'll snap into, oh, wait a minute. What did you do? Hey, it, dis it disappeared. Um, can, can, can you fix that, Ashley? <laughs> Um, Jeez, you're always making more work for me. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, um, yeah, then you just move it over there in place. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. Oh, the, the church people are here. Hi, hi I, was just, <clears throat> I was just helping Ashley um, showing her a shortcut to, to work on the picture on the Sunday bulletin. Um, y you, know, you know, sometimes you can show people what to do and, and, and they can learn and they can do it and, and it's better and you know sometimes if you're not following the right people they can really mess you up. This Sunday though we're looking at a story where Jesus has been out doing a lot of good, a lot of good and we saw that a couple of weeks ago in our, in our uh, Sunday morning lessons. He's been out doing a lot of good and then he takes his disciples and he pairs them up into teams of two, and so he sends these six teams out into the community to continue doing the kind of good that he's doing. We realized last Sunday's scripture lesson that they, they're doing so much good, even Herod heard about it, all of the good things that they were out there doing. And this week, the scripture lesson is where they come back and they tell Jesus all of the good that they've been doing. And I was thinking through that kind of flow, what are we doing that we've learned from Jesus that we could go back and say, Jesus, this is what we're doing because we follow you? We're going to look at that actually in both services. We'll look at it in a, in a study lesson in the traditional worship and then in a discussion in the uh, modern worship. In that traditional worship, we're going to have some great hymns. Another one's coming right off of your favorite list. And um, we have a neat video clip coming from the uh, Karate Kid for our modern worship. It's going to be an exciting day. Can't wait to share that. We'll see you Sunday. So, at the ceiling. Tell me, what, how did you fix that? Well, I mean, when I do that how on earth did you get that fixed? Control Z. Okay, so when something goes wrong on my computer, I can control Z and it'll all fix? Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo-hoo. Oh, don't cry. We got it fixed. We got it fixed. Don't cry. Thanks to me, we got it fixed. But it's fixed. It is fixed. <laughs> yeah, that, that picture's already showed up on my Facebook. Richard's busy day is interfering with my slacking off.